Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Feed the Beast with me, Burgo. What is shaking, everybody? Hope everyone is doing well. It's a bright, sunny day uh, here on the Glacier de Burgo. What's up, everybody? Uh, last time, we got uh, some sticky resin. We got some rubber cooking up in the house right now as we speak. Uh, we also found this, like, super high-action, ultra-high-definition uh, mob spawner. And there are two down there. We raided those chests in there. Pretty much cleanse this place of evil for now, anyway. Um, I think there's some more mobs about running out and about in there. Sounds like there's another wisp that spawned. Um, we also found some rubber tree saplings, which I went ahead and planted. Looks like a couple skeletons been dying up in here. Um, well, let's go ahead and get some more sticky resin today. I would like to get a macerator set up as well as an extractor. So we can get um, more rubber and more more ingots per ore. Uh, so we're just going to be doing a little bit of crafting today. Uh, maybe we can go check out the surrounding landscape, see if we can find any sweet-ass caves or something. Um, I did get another uh, iron furnace set up, which is looking freaking awesome. Uh, we got some... I went ahead and refined some iron just so it's not me furnacing. Uh, the whole time while we're working. Um, so yeah, guys, let's uh, let's go ahead and get to it. We've got we've got uh, some coal just sitting in here. I thought we had some more. Yeah, we have some more rubber here. I was already looking at it. Good grief! All right, so for these two machines, we're gonna need copper cables, which we have plenty of. Holy crap, we have a lot of it. Um, let's go ahead and make three batches of that. Yeah, that'll be good. One, two, three, and you just sandwich it right in the middle here. Awesome. Bam, look at that. Look at all this copper cable we got now. All right, so now let's see if we can find our trusty redstone here. Yes, we got a whole freaking stack of it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cable. Let's make two of these just so we don't have to come back and do it later. That'll be good good choice on my part and then we just throw the old redstone in there maybe no maybe not let's look up what what we need for a circuit <laughs> good grief good thing we have this freaking mod here all right we just need a basic electronic circuit oh we need refined iron in there well good we have it made so awesome i think we just need yeah we just need two or one on each side oh my gosh look at this we're messing the whole jazz up Let's get some refined iron in there. And how to make refined iron is you just throw, well, literally just throw already smelted iron ingots back into the iron furnace, and that's how you get refined iron. Pretty simple process, um, not not that big of an issue. Now, another component that almost all machines have is what's called a machine block. And it's just refined iron in a chest pattern. So we're gonna go and make two since we need one for both of these machines. Let's go ahead and grab those. All right, and I made another chest just because we were running out of freaking space. So let's drop these seeds in there. Got another sapling. We can plant that later. Um, just some leftover building materials. Some more resin. That's just from earlier. Let's get rid of these arrows for now. And these flowers. Okay. Now, guys, do I have... Let me see. We're going to need some wood for our tree taps for our extractor. So let's grab some more logs here. Just so we can be sure to have enough spruce wood isn't that all that rare to come across so i think we can make do with that now we need four of these beasts um for our extractor now and there's three good grief what am i doing all right perfect go ahead and get those now throw our circuit up in here just one just one please one for the machine block, and then we surround it with tree taps. Oh, bam! Oh, yes, we have an extractor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so where do we want to put this? Do we just want to put this in the corner here? Yeah, let's just do that. That's cool. Um, and I really like this. This is another mod that was, uh, I think it's a mod anyway, um, that is put into uh, Feed the Beast. Oh, my God, I don't want to put that wool there. Get out of here! Um, let's grab half of this coal. Now, we don't have any power sources set up, and can we use that? Can we? Oh, it's redstone. Okay, cool. So, we're just going to throw some redstone in there. It acts as a power source, and for now, I'm. we're just going to use that. I mean, it, 
does drain it fairly quickly, but we do get three rubber as opposed to one rubber when we cook it in the furnace. So I'm just gonna check this out here, make sure it is three. No, drum roll please, bam. Oh yes, look at all that rubber, awesome. All right guys, so the next project we have is a macerator and what that is gonna do is it's effectively, um, or essentially going to allow us to get more ores or not more ores, but more more ingots uh, per ore that we bring in when we go down mining. So we're going to need some flint, um, which can be found with gravel. Unfortunately, we have some gravel here. We're just going to go try our luck here. Hopefully, we can find some freaking gravel. Good grief, that'd be... Or some flint, that'd be ideal. Hopefully, we can find it right away so we don't have to deal with this too freaking much. Um, but you never know. Never know, guys. We're just mining down here. And, uh, God, this this reminds me of, like, stuff I did as a kid. Um, when, when I was out on the farm, you know, I grew up on the dairy farm. Whatever. Um, that's old news. We all know that story. But, uh, there's always, like, this, this little dirt shelf. Um, and this is, like, oh, God, we have a visitor. Oh, oh, we have contact. Yeah. Eat it. All right. Um, oh my god, that wisp is mad at me for wrecking his party, but, um, now this is, let's keep in mind that this is right after, um, Independence Day came out, you know, the movie with Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, um, one of my favorite movies, um, from, from when I was a kid, because I thought, like, it was so cool, and, like, I was seven years old, and I saw it, and it was PG-13, so I just thought I was, like, the hardest core kid of all time. Um, let's head back up to the house here and get the macerator set up. But, um, there's like this little shelf of dirt, um, that, that I would always hang out with is right on our driveway. And, uh, I'm going to show you guys just the crafting recipe. I'm not going to get into like the huge annoying specifics of it because that's kind of boring. You guys don't want to hear me talk about crafting recipes. Look at that macerator. Oh yeah. So. Essentially, from now on, what we're going to be doing, let's put the rest of that redstone in there. Um, let's grab some ores. What do we want to use? Let's let's try out the monazit. How's that sound? Go. All right, and we'll come back for that in a bit. Let's just go on a bit of an adventure, guys. Let's see if we can find a cave, find something sweet. Um, we got some more sticky resin. Do you guys just want to go mining? Let's actually, yeah, let's go exploring a little bit. Because I think that'll be a bit more fun. Maybe we can collect some food on the way. I'm um, running a bit low, actually. So we'll just kill. We'll go on a cow killing rampage as we venture about the countryside here. But um, anyway, getting back to the story, there's like this little dirt, like shelf, kind of like rising protrusion. And um, you know, an Independence Day, I thought it was the coolest thing once once like the humans got the got the aliens like shields down because they couldn't even like hurt the hurt the alien spacecraft because they had these sweet energy shields and um once they got them down um they started sending in like all their missiles and like machine guns and all that jazz and like just like suiciding into into the into the side of the plane and like those just red craters oh boy oh my god wow okay okay that's where we're going next <laughs> um but anyway so they get like they start making like all these impact craters and like damage marks on it and for some reason when i was a kid i just thought that was like the absolute sweetest sweetest thing on earth that i'd ever seen and so anyway going back to this dirt shelf ooh, it's a pretty little lake. Awesome. Um, so anyway, uh, back to this like dirt shelf thing I was talking about. Um, I would like literally just sit there and take rocks and I like use my imagination and like just visualize this dirt shelf as the side of the UFO. And I would literally just sit there for like an hour, an hour and a half and just throw rocks at the side of this like little like three foot dirt shelf and <laughs> it was like seriously fun stuff and i would like you know recite lines from the movie and do all sorts of dumb stuff like that but it's just 
so much fun. Looks like you got a cave down here. Let's explore this a little bit. Let's go down as far as we can. And then once we reach the end, <laughs> oh gosh, we'll just head back. I guess that's the end. Let's go and get this materials though. Um, nothing wrong with a little material gathering. Get some more monazit. We'll throw that in the macerator. It'll be a damn good time. But, um, but yeah, guys, I mean, that's just a... I love sharing, like, just glimpses of my childhood because I do some really... Or I did some really weird stuff just as a kid. And, like, I don't, I don't see that from many kids these days. I don't know why that is. I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, Oh, kids these days don't do anything or whatever. And it's like... They do stuff. It's just different stuff. You, know, like, you don't have to act like you're the only one that did anything. But, but like I see, I see some of those traits and like some of my nephews and stuff, and it's just absolutely hilarious just to like relive those memories whenever they're doing like crazy stuff like I did when I was a kid. It's just, it's just so fun. <laughs> but, ooh, some quartz. Oh my god, hell! I hate. Ooh. Holy mother. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and get these materials though. And we're gonna be coming back to this cave because I think, I bet all these like ravines and caves are just totally linked up. And we're definitely gonna need more redstone just to fuel our stuff. Otherwise, I think we can actually, you know, get a generator and whatnot set up. I think that'd be a, a good idea actually. Let's explore down here a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any mining because I think that's a bit boring at this point. Let's just explore and oh my god, this place is freaking huge. You know what guys, let's go back and let's say Oh boy, oh boy! Visitor! Oh ouch. Oh, it blew me up, dog. Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Cool guys. Let's try and get up here. We'll just we'll just mine our way through. Destroy the landscape a little bit. Yeah. Oh, good jump, me. Oh, yeah. Let's use our pickaxe to mine through dirt. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at all these caves. Holy crap. There's our beacon for our for our home. Awesome. Hey, cow. We'll go ahead and get some steaks. Cook that one up. Look at the rubber trees. They're looking great. Producing all sorts of goodies for us here. Oh, I love this. I love this landscape. We're seriously gonna have to cover up some of these holes though because these are serious like workplace hazards. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not up to code on that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to build like a staircase to the stair. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Noob alert, noob alert. <laughs> oh man. Awesome. That was a good, a good little adventure though. That was fun. Good times. All right, let's go check our macerator. See what's shaking and baking up in there. We can also get these steaks cooking because we are low on health and hunger. Um, and that's never a good situation. Let's go ahead and throw them on the grill. Oh, yeah. Floor grill, floor grill. Sweet. Oh, my God. Look at... What the hell is this? Forisium or something. What is this? For Forsicium? I don't know. Let's throw it in a chest regardless. We'll figure out a use for it at some point, I'm sure. But uh, that was awesome, guys. That was a damn good adventure. It was a good time. The moon is coming up. Let's have a little, have a little moonlit, moonlit moment here. That overhang. This, this is such a sweet seed. I love this. This is absolutely amazing. But um, I think we're gonna call it there. I think it'll be a bit of shorter episode today. Um, but for sure, guys, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this time we spent together here in the land of. What do we wanna call this? Lando de Burgo, Terra de Burgo. Let's call it Terra de Burgo. I like that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, as well as my other video game series. I've got XCOM Enemy Unknown going on. I've got Jedi Academy. Uh, soon we will be playing Don't Starve, so we're gonna be a little, doing a little bit of a double survival action. But um, we'll check you next time, guys. Be sure to have any comments um, if you have any helpful tips for me. But once again, guys, see you next time. Goodbye.